Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and I have a question for you. Is your Weebly theme responsive? If you don't have an answer to that question, that's okay. I'm going to show you a test you can perform shortly that will help you determine whether or not your Weebly theme is responsive. But before we do that, real quick, it's important to know that all Weebly themes fall into one of either two types of themes. They are either 100% responsive, or they are either uh, non-responsive with a mobile version. Okay, so uh, to perform this test, you can see I have two additional tabs open. One, two, and within these tabs is the exact same site. Well, nearly exact. I mean, some padding might be off, but they're pretty much identical. And they're so identical that I can't remember which one is the responsive one and which one is the non-responsive one. So, but that's okay. We're going to perform this test that will help us uh, find the answer to that question. All right. So the first thing you want to do is unhinge your browser, which is the uh, the middle button. Um, top right corner of most if not all browsers all right and from there grab the right side of your browser window and just drag it all the way to the left keep going as far as you can go we are done all right as you can see uh, the site has been cut off the content does not look good um, and it's I think we can reasonably conclude that this tab houses the non response <laughs> non-responsive Weebly theme. Okay, so let's back up and perform this exact same test on the additional tab. Okay, so grabbing the right side of the window here, dragging it all the way to the left as far as we can go. Still looks good. All right, and there's the mobile navigation. Oops, keep going. We're as far as we can go, and you can see that the site still looks good, um, pictures, words are not cut off. We can conclude that this tab is the 100% responsive version. All right, so let me know what the results of your test showed in the comments below. Um, I hope you found this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.